morning happy monday i started the morning by having a coffee in bed marcus actually made it for me and then i sat on the couch and posted a tiktok and now i've just come out into my office to start going through my work so every monday morning the very first thing i do is my emails so i actually do start with my pr which is my personal collab emails and then i go into doing napoleon's customer service second so i've just ticked both of them off the list and i tell you what else i'm doing today which is really fun Fun and different so i'm doing like a little purchase giveaway with this company called kindly and they just sent me 50 organic deodorants to my office so if they buy from kindly this is what they get and if they buy from napoleon this is what they get since like this doesn't have my website or anything about my brand on it i'm just trying to put together like a little slip that has just like a little 20 percent off code i'm just gonna cut this one up roughly just to see how it's gonna look all right let's see if this fits guys good enough i reckon oh yeah it's a 50 pairs these are my new arrivals by the way how cute are these these aren't available yet over here we have the all the different organic deodorants from kindly I just had a shower. I shampooed my hair only. I didn't condition it because my hair's been quite oily lately. I did a little bit of makeup, not too much, just a tiny bit of foundy, bronzer, lip tint, purple and mascara. Then I popped on some Love and Tan Gradual Tan because I'm filming a lot of swimwear content for TikTok this week and I don't want to do like a full fake tan. So I'm just doing some gradual tan daily, the face gradual as well did my perfume, my deodorant, and now I've just popped on my Napoleon Wear Rose Quartz tracksuit set. So this one launched last winter, but I still live in her. So it's just a little crop jumper. I chucked a Napoleon tee underneath, got my tracky dax on and Uggs, because I work from home. Now I'm gonna make my second coffee and grab a banana for breakfast. Hey guys. Yeah. Sorry I'm late, standard. We just moved the meeting to 11.35. Oh yeah, I reckon 11.35 is a good time. <laughs> Zoom number two, I'm taking in the front room. This room is like a shambles, but I kind of want the lighting to be a bit more professional. So I might chuck that on, chuck that on. I'm already late, like it starts in one minute. <gasps> this is like a interview with a high school kid <sighs> that I'm just doing like to be supportive and I haven't prepped well hopefully nothing throws me off guard what resources did you find you were missing when you started the business oh every resource <laughs> every resource well no I had my internet and I had my phone so they were the, probably the most essential things you need to start three meetings done three meetings done Napoleon I think I'm gonna make some lunch now I'm having two wraps with ham, cheese, spinach, and spicy mayo. One thing you'll learn about me if you watch my YouTubes is that I don't actually take lunch breaks. I eat my lunch at my desk. And at every lunchtime is when I print out my order labels because, like, it's an easy task to do with one hand. I feel like I don't have that many orders at the moment. Whenever it's the end of financial year or, like, whenever there's periods where I'm competing with every e-commerce store, my sales drop a little bit when i send out my main end of financial year email like that's always a good day but then it kind of like trickles off and i'm competing with others oh marcus is calling me oh my god i just got the best call ever from marcus guys bless his little cotton socks so i told you guys in a few vlogs ago that marcus owns a fumigation company but he's launching a whole warehousing company and today they got the final approvals for the warehouse so they are opening their warehouse on the 1st of july oh it's just it's such a dream come true for both of us i was just so happy for him on the phone like my eyes are gonna water it's just such a good it's so good so freaking good so i just had a missed call from <clears throat> china which is where all my stock gets made and like, it's so annoying because at the moment I'm getting so many spam calls, so many spam SMSs, spam emails. So she called and she's like, hi, it's this person from this freight company. Your stuff has landed in Australia. This is what it is. 
can you send me your email because I want to send you the thing, the invoice, so you can pay it. And I was like, I paused for a second. I'm like, yeah, fine. I just gave her my um, personal email, none of my business emails, because like if something goes wrong with my personal email, it's not related to any of my business stuff. And like, I have so much on the freaking boats and planes that I don't even know what this is. What do I do? <laughs> I'm just low key way too scared to click any links because oh, I don't want to lose any more money. <laughs> So I just DMs my manufacturer and she says this email is not spam. <sighs> I'm gonna click it. I'm clicking it. All right, it looks trusted now because my product names are actually listed here. Actually, they wouldn't have been able to get my product name, surely. Okay. <sighs> Deep breaths, I'm gonna sign it. So I just pulled all the orders from the shelving and now I'm gonna pack them into their mailers. All packed, so I have all my standard Australia Post mailers in here ready to go. Then I have one international, which is going to New Zealand, which I keep aside. And then one express post that's going to Point Cook in Victoria, which I'm keeping aside. So yeah, um, I don't have time to go to the post office just yet, but I will be going very soon. It would be good to get these two returns processed before I go to the post office. They're the only returns I have today. Okay, so now I just designed some stickers that I want to give with new collections. And I'm ordering them through Avery WePrint because I'm lucky enough to have just got a partnership with them. So I typed in a code. It's a one-time code, so don't even bother trying to use it because it's not going to work. So I finally finished doing all the little sockies, so all the little gift cards are in there and I'm just going to pop them onto this big special delivery Napoleon Wear mailer. And then I'm going to write Lisa, I think her name is, and kindly a quick card just to say thanks for partnering with Napoleon Wear. Hey, you know, a 15 second video that's really aesthetic and maybe has some voiceover or someone yep. speaking to the camera. Mm -hmm. I definitely recommend trying a few of them. And now it's time to do my accounting on zero. It's the end of financial year, so I'm just trying to like stay on top of accounting and do it every single day just so, you know, by the time I'm ready to get things lodged up, it's all good to go. Just going to make mum and I a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice because I feel like I need some sugar. This big orange here is like, I don't even know what it is, but it's kind of like a red orange. <gasps> Guys, <laughs> I think it's a blood orange. It's a little bit sour. When I was a kid, I used to put sugar in it, like added sugar into the orange juice. I don't tend to take breaks, so I usually work eight hours without a break. But in saying that, like if something comes up on like another day or something, I just take the time and I just go and do it. Like I don't really have set hours but when i am actually in the office i'm working the whole day what i'm going to do now and this is what i do at the end of every day is calendar time so i actually just look over what i've got due tomorrow and i write my to-do list for tomorrow so these are like my little to-do lists here so i'm gonna check my calendar write up tomorrow's checklist tick off anything like that's already been ticked off and if it hasn't been ticked off it goes on the new list normally i film a tiktok at 5 30 every day if i finish this and i have energy i'll go film a tiktok at 6 p.m let's go inside you got him in a bad time you look great i know i've had like six drinks <laughs> Celebrating because he's just got the yeah. wine that we need. Warehouse starts. So he goes into his warehouse next week. I'm nervous. Don't we? Really You're nervous for? Because I'm shy. No. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Back in my Udi now, and it's time to watch Big Brother and eat as many snacks as I can find. Sick. Let's open it up. Gorgeous. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead. Wow. 
morning happy tuesday so this morning i had a little bit of a sleep in i slept in till nine and miss napoleon and i chilled on my laptop and on my phone in bed until 10 and now here i am in my office so i go to sleep at like 1 a.m most nights so like actually go to sleep so last night I watched two episodes of The Summer I Turned Pretty and this is the second time I'm watching The Summer I Turned Pretty because I'm really, really loving it. Like I loved season one and I kind of have FOMO now that the season has ended. So I've decided just to watch it again. I edited a TikTok video that I wanted to post this morning. I procrastinated a little bit before I knew it was 1am. So I was like, yeah, I better go to sleep. Then I had my laptop in my room already. So from nine to 10, I just did some customer service, some endless PR stuff, and then I yeah, finished editing my TikTok, posted a TikTok. Now I've made my coffee and I'm here in my office ready. My content editor, Marnie, just sent through like a little trailer. I think she's gonna um, send through another one as well, but I'll play a little bit for you guys now. <laughs> I love when a zesty face sends back epic content. Like we just had one of our faces send back videos and it's only her second week. So she creates five videos per week. So first week was really solid, but I sent her a whole heap of feedback. The growth from week one to week two with a little bit of help from my coaching has just been ah huge. So I'm really excited to present this new bit batch of content to the brand and hopefully, yeah, they're happy to roll it out. All right, I'm dressed. I'm wearing my Leonardo DiCaprio t-shirt that I've had since I was in like year 12 at school. My Napoleon wear black tourmaline trackies, which I launched last winter. Uh, DB Shark high tops and it's bloody cold, like literally 13 degrees right now. For TikTok, I'll be changing outfits a whole heap anyway. I did a plait, wow. Look at me go, so extra. And I did my moisturizer, my deodorant, my perfume. I popped on just a tiny bit of foundation and um, bronzer and lip tint, cheek tint, shimmery stuff. I don't know what that stuff is that wears here, here, and here. That a little bit of mascara, and I'm good to go. <laughs> picked up a parcel and I have no idea what it is. I'll go find something to eat for lunch and then we'll go home and unbox the parcels together. So I grabbed myself a soy cappuccino. Oh yeah, she's good. She's good. Mm. And a tandoori chicken wrap. Mmm. Good. Was anyone gonna tell me my jacket was like that dirty or not? <laughs> Let's open this mystery box. Mariah Akamare. Oh, I nearly sliced my own thumb off. Twice. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Guys, it is, it's a yoga mat. It's a freaking yoga mat. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That. From my memory, she is an indigenous artist and she puts indigenous artwork on her yoga mats. Oh, it's so big! Whoa! Wow! Wow! So pretty. Guys. Oh my god, I love it. My mum will love this too. I spent about an hour and a half filming my YouTube obsessions, a new series that I'll be posting hopefully on like the last day of every month to recap what I was obsessed with. So like I did just like a June recap of all the TV shows that I binged, the foods that I was like loving, um, the clothes that I was wearing and all of that. So that took me about an hour and a half to film. I also shared a whole of Insta stories. I did a little poll about the summer I turned pretty. So 
Oh guys, I'm just so obsessed with it. So I did a little poll asking people whose team they on. Are they on Team Conrad, Team Jeremiah, or Team Cam Cameron? But I'm also on cooking duty tonight. So I will probably start cooking in like 15 minutes. What snack are you having? They're jelly jam. <laughs> That's terrible. Damn, cover these. So many, but none that you want. I'm gonna go run you a bath now. <laughs> Don't Do you want no. me to put bubbles in it? Do you want a bath bomb? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why not? I never do! <laughs> oh, don't scare the baby, he's gonna hate it! No! <laughs> come on, Amy, come on! Come on, <laughs> oh. I don't want bubbles! It's too late! <laughs> You're gonna smell like cotton snow. I got this especially for you because I knew you didn't want. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I knew you didn't want bath bombs. Shut up. I know you're lying. I actually you're will. Lying. I... You're lying. Why would you say that? You're just embarrassed that I'm I told not, everyone. I'm not having a bath. No. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning to make my coffee, but I'm back in bed now with my laptop as I need to be at Brunetti's at 9 a.m. for a meeting. So doing some last minute work before I head off to that meeting. I am not a morning person because I go to bed after 1 a.m. Like, I mean, I go to sleep after 1 a.m. So when my alarm goes off at like 6, I'm always like, oof, like, woo, but it's way too early for me. So like, I know six isn't that early and I used to be such a morning person, but this morning when my alarm got off, I was like, oh geez, let me sleep, please. On the way to Brunetti's now, Map says I will arrive at 8.56. I'm wearing my favorite new pink jumper from Zara, cords from A Brand, and my sneakers are my Pumas. <laughs> One is really like going to meetings with entrepreneurs. More espresso, less espresso. Thanks for coming. 10.30 a.m. now and I just wrapped up the meeting with the Athletic and Boys. I'm always in such a good mood after I see them. Like, I literally love them. So I thought I was just seeing Joe today and Joe's like, oh, I just love Joe. He's just so nice, so like caring giving so smart and just so funny like i just want to laugh at him all the time just the best and then robbie came and robbie's just oh i love robbie as well he's just got such a special place in my heart because he used to be my boss and i just i feel like he's like the smartest person that i know so it was good to see him call him for a bit and then harrow came i haven't introduced you guys to harry yet so i can't tell you in this video who harrow is because that'll be coming in another video soon but Harrow's name isn't Harrow, his name's Matthew and he probably hates that I just called him Harrow. He literally dropped a coffee, like he bought Joe a espresso and as he was carrying it back to the table, he like dropped it and it spilled everywhere. And yeah, I freaking love Harrow as well. It's just, I'm just, look, look at me, look how happy I am right now after seeing them. So I'll be seeing them once a month now and I freaking can't wait. So pumped. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Breathing. I literally might go put my Udi and my Uggs on. Finally in my office. It's taken me half a day to get in here and I've got a fair bit to do. This afternoon I have my appointment at Global Skin Clinic. I'll probably go and make another coffee, but I need to actually sit down and do some work. Just booked in a new face for Zesty, which is so exciting. <sighs> Nothing beats locking in new faces to work with brands. Like I absolutely love it. It's such a fun like process. You're like scouting the faces, reaching out to them, sending the options through to the brand, to see who the brand likes, then coming up with a content plan for the brand to use for the next month with that creator. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I love this part of my job now. Like Napoleon's always going to be my number one baby, but I'm slowly becoming really obsessed with Zesty to the point where I think I need to get a Zesty light. I don't want to like rebrand my whole office around Zesty, but like it might happen. There might be touches of green popping up everywhere. 
Okay, so it's 12 o'clock now. I'm gonna go inside and make some lunch because I really need to knuckle down and get shit done. When I get back to my desk, I'm sending out my final end of financial year sale email. Emailing on the last day of the sale is always good because people are like, oh shit, if I don't get it today, everything's going back to full price tomorrow. I need to name my bikinis. I haven't named my new bikinis yet. I've named one, but I need to name the rest. I'm gonna sit down here and be like, type down my name options and be like, what do I wanna name these? What's the inspo, you know? Wait, what is it? Leave it there where it's meant to be. <laughs> In this drawer, under all this shit. <gasps> okay, it looks, good. It looks good. Bye. Good luck at your meeting, you dork head. Oh. <laughs> Piggyback me. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, oh. No, I'm not crypto. I'm crypto. <laughs> got to my appointment at Global Skin Clinics and guess what? I'm a changed woman because I'm 10 minutes early. I'll probably walk in there five minutes early. Go me! I just got back into my office. I sent out my end of financial year sale EDM and I made a couple of orders. Then I posted my YouTube video live. So if you haven't watched it yet, it's actually my vlog. The first half of my Sydney trip, so my content trip that I went up for, for the swimwear photo shoot. And that anyone that hasn't watched it yet can pop over there now to give it a bit of a watch after you finish this video though. <laughs> I just ordered Maccas on Uber Eats because Marcus and I were meant to be going mini golf tonight, but he's been held up with work. Mum's got her naps on and she's watching me on YouTube. Mum's my number one supporter. Thanks, Mum. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Isn't it? Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm in my office as per usual. Just made my coffee. I kind of like to have my normal cappuccino from my coffee machine in the morning and then in the afternoon lately i've been having the vanilla ones did my personal pr emails did my napoleon wear customer service replied to a whole heap of dms from my friends and replied to all my zesty like group chats and caught up on a bit that i was behind on there um i went in and checked my youtube analytics from yesterday and i was so sad like no one's watched it <laughs> i'm like giggling out of like nerves because i'm like why did no one watch it it was one of my favorite videos i've ever posted so if you haven't watched it i hope you can go watch it um look at me laughing i'm trying not to sound like i'm like pleading for people to go watch my youtube but i am like it's our work so of course we're gonna love it but if there's something that's like not good or like something that could be improved can you guys let me know in the comments like oh i would love to speak to someone who's like a pro at youtube to tell me what i'm maybe doing wrong i feel like it could be the thumbnails like is that such a drawing part if you watch a youtube that you've never watched before from a person is it the thumbnail that hooks you let me know what you think honestly like because i'm a little bit flat we put a lot of work into that youtube and like I think YouTube and filming YouTube is my favorite social media platform and it's the one that I'm the worst at. So today I only have one meeting. I need to double check what time that is. I think it's 10.30 so I better go and prep that. I need to do my end of financial year stock take because it's the 30th of June today. Write up a whole heap of thank you cards. I need to pay for my pajama stock that just um, got to Aussie Customs. I never have to pay and this time they're stinging me for like 400 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? What what the heck is this 400 bucks come from? But like, they're like, no, it's the taxes and the GST. And I'm like, I've literally never paid this. Like I, usually I pay it up front and it's like covered. I don't know what's going on. So I gotta go pay that bill because they're just holding it. 
I also didn't sleep well. It's just the anticipation of the upcoming uh, collection. So I think I went to sleep maybe 1.32 a.m. and then Marcus's alarm. I feel like it went off at at least 4.30, but he pressed snooze for like honestly two hours. And then my alarm was set for 7.30 and then I kept pressing snooze till literally 8.45 and then I was like, I need to get up and get in the office. So it was just a broken sleep the entire night. So it's outfit repeat Thursdays because like I work from home. So why would I need to put on a fresh new outfit every week? And I just popped on some BB cream, bronzer, lip gloss, and um, mascara. That's it for today. I just finished my first Google Me Zoom thingy of the day. For Zesty, it was a super quick one, only like 10 minutes. And now I need to hustle on some serious work. I just had a whole heap of online shopping arrive. Mum and I have a Christmas in July event next week, which I'll probably vlog a little bit of. So we needed Christmas sweaters. So this one's mine. Mum's is cuter than mine, I reckon. This is Mum's. Then I bought on wish.com these thingies. It's my fourth day this week that I'm having wraps for lunch. I'm just having one wrap because I haven't had breakfast. So I'm calling this brunch today and then I might have something different after this. Mum just came in and yelled at me for having my heater on 30 degrees and also having my foot heater on full blast, but I'm so cold, like my hands. I like icicles, so I've decided to put my puffer on. This is actually one of my Napoleon puffers that I designed that I really wanted to launch this year, but I've literally missed the whole winter. I'm so upset. Like I'm actually really upset with how this year is panning out due to shipment delays. <sighs> like all the goals I had freaking basically gone i have started packing orders but definitely need to pack a few more i just got another delivery and once again i don't know what it is i didn't even know this was coming oh oh my god <gasps> look how cute the glass is that's so cute this is my first walk of the week. And mine. And mum's. We got lazy. Don't know why everyone thinks we're so fit. This is the first time we've left the house. Back from the walk. Oh, I just got the pictures from Alicia. I'm so nervous. I haven't opened it yet. I'm about to open them now. Uh, I like get so nervous every time. She sent through 700 and I need to narrow it down to 100. Wish me luck. I'm going to be straight out and honest though. I hate my hair. <laughs> I really don't like my hair at all. I was going for that beach wave. It turned out like Shirley Temple, like it looked so bad. But that's okay, cause I'm a boss and we're gonna roll with it anyway. So it's just here at 6 p.m. I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna call it an eye and come back with fresh eyes to look at this tomorrow. Feeling a bit flat. Scooped out my dinner and I'm literally just gonna chill in bed. I'm probably not gonna like stay in bed all night, but I'm just gonna sit in bed and try and like change my mindset and watch the summer I turned pretty because that's gonna put me in a fabulous mood. I think I'm just grumpy because I just wanna launch my winter stuff. I'm happy with the photo shoot. I'm not happy with my work, my job on the day. I can pull it off. Mmm. <laughs> you gonna come take care of me? I'm eating my dinner. I think you just want my dinner, is that right? We're gonna watch Telling You. It's Friday again, and so this Sunday what? It's Friday again. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Morning, happy Friday everyone. I just did my personal PR emails, my Napoleon customer service. I did a whole heap of chatting with my manufacturer and I paid some bills. But now I have 15 minutes to zhuzh up and get on two back-to-back -back Zooms for Zesty. Okay, Zoom one is done. Um, I now have 45 minutes before the next Zoom. So here's a quick fit, fit check of the day. I'm wearing my Justin Bieber Anyone jumper underneath. I have my Lakers t-shirt on, my Napoleon wear holdover, yoga pants on. Now I'm gonna just literally hustle on packing up these orders. Like I think I can get them done in 45 minutes. I'm taking this Zoom in the front room and I was like, I need to look a bit more professional. So 
my bottom half won't be in the camera half of the room. This is the coldest room, but at least like from the top up, I'm like, oh, looks like I got my shit together. And then I'm just gonna like have my booty on my legs. Then I'm gonna sit here. Marcus moved into his warehouse today as well, guys. You should have seen him last night. He was so cute and excited and just came out to yell at me. She's like, Em, your brother will be here in one to three hours because we don't know if he's coming at one or three you need to come inside and clean the house like literally people forget that i'm at work did i do a good job i mean it's better than it was very good <laughs> yeah you acted very quickly thank you <laughs> look how i go shopping mom i'm lazy to get dressed <laughs> No one will know. No one will know. How will they know? <laughs> this is a spare room, by the way, guys. This is not my room, so don't judge me. Guys, I'm literally dying. I just sent my friend, Arrow, a voice message because he was like, oh, how did the shoot go? Like, are you happy with the content? And I was like, yeah, I'm so happy with the content. Although, my hair. And then I went on a big rant about how I think my hair looks like Shirley Temple. And this is how he comforts me. This is when you know you got a good friend. Okay, this is Shirley Temple, right? <laughs> Child star, the Shirley Temple story, Hollywood's biggest star. Then there's a picture of her having her birthday cake. And this is what he makes me. Child entrepreneur, the Emily Lucent story, Melbourne's biggest star. And this is brutal. <laughs> this is, oh my God. I feel so like, I, I feel so much better now. Oh, I thought it was going to be on my right. Races are on, get a table. There's the nurse, Maddie. Cheese. Cheese. He told me, happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> what are you two doing? <laughs> what are you two doing? Do you guys want... We're busy. to you happy birthday dear dad happy birthday 